in this lecture we will talk about the wash down of interstitial fluid proteins as a safety factor as a safety factor to prevent edema now we are discussing the safety factors that normally prevent edema and we have discussed in detail the first two factors which was the low compliance of interstitium in negative interstitial fluid pressure range and the second is the ability of the lymph flow to increase 10 to 50 times when we discussed the lymph flow we discussed that whenever there is increased secretion or there is increased filtration of fluid out of the capillaries into the interstitium the lymph vessels basically increase the flow and they take 10 to 50 times more uh, fluid and proteins so that they can contribute in preventing the edema and it acts as a safety factor so the lymph flow basically acts as a safety factor in preventing edema now the same increased lymph flow the same increased lymph flow also helps in preventing edema by taking more proteins now we discussed that basically the fluid from the heart the heart is pumping pumping uh, pushing the blood the blood normally comes through the aorta arteries and finally at the level of capill capillaries the filtration process is going on fluid is coming into the interstitium cells are consuming the the nutrients and then the waste material is going through the capillaries into the veins now we discussed that the larger particles the proteins in feeds and some fluid basically which cannot enter the capillaries due to the size they are taken with the help of lymphatics and that's why when the lymph flow increases in those circumstances which increases the interstitial fluid accumulation in those circumstances when the lymph flow increases the lymph flow in itself help and contributes as a safety factor against prevention of edema because the lymph flow may increase 10 to 50 times now while the lymph flow is increasing it also takes with itself the proteins now the proteins concentration in the interstitium basically decreases so it is basically a wash down of the interstitial fluid protein concentration and the, the concentration of proteins decreases in the interstitium and this decrease in the concentration of protein due to their wash down by the lymph flow acts as a safety factor to prevent edema now why the wash down of proteins acts as a safety factor we basically discussed previously that the filtration process is basically going on at the capillary level and there are four main factors the capillary hydrostatic pressure the field interstitial fluid pressure and the, the plasma colloid osmotic pressure interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure every force is important but the colloid osmotic pressure the the especially the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure which is due to the proteins in the interstitium the plasma colloid osmotic pressure is due to proteins in the capillaries the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure is due to proteins in the interstitium now this force is basically due to proteins and the proteins in the interstitium are basically pulling the fluid from the capillary lumen into the interstitium into the interstitium so they are in a way increasing the fluid in the interstitium when the lymph flow increases and the proteins here are washed down then the protein concentration in the interstitium decreases and it helps in preventing the edema so that's why the wash down of protein concentration from the interstitium also acts as a safety factor against edema